It's always harder to make these videos when I'm personally involved in them. It's even harder when I have to talk about a story involving one of my best friends. And that's exactly what we have to do here today. Welcome back to Mogul Mail, everybody. Today we are talking about Magnus Carlsen, aka number one best chess player all time, aka my best friend, who's been in some drama recently in the chess world. Ooh, chess drama. This is new and exciting. Uh, wh what is it? What is it? Uh, what, what is it? Well, let's start with this clip right here. All right, this happened today. It's D4 because this is his. This is his main move. This is the uh, second move of a of a of an, a match in a tournament between Magnus Carlsen and Hans Niemann. D4, knight f6, c4, yeah, definitely. And what? And if you haven't noticed, at the top right here, it says lost. And that's because Magnus Carlsen resigned from no. the game. What? And then immediately no. turned off his camera and left. He said no and leaves. Goodbye. But why? Why would the world's best player do that in a chess game where he probably has a great chance at winning? Well, for that, let's get some background on the two main players in this story, which is one, Magnus Carlsen. Again, best chess player in the world. Highest rating. Uh, he's the, like, 10-year running champion who has a bit of drama against Hans Niemann, who's an American player who, uh, who had the greatest win of his career uh, just two weeks ago when he beat Magnus Carlsen. That's right. Hans beat Magnus, which, you know, like if you don't know chess, it's like whatever, a guy loses, that happens. No. Magnus Carlsen had not lost a classical game of chess in 53 games, all right? And, and it's his first loss with White in over two years. Two years he hasn't lost, and then he loses to some kid. I mean, Hans is 19 years old, and it's probably his, like, worst-rated loss ever, all right? It, it, basically, it's like losing to the Browns in anything, or in, by that measure, any Ohio team. Uh, not that Hans isn't a great player, more so just how young he is and for the rating he was at. Uh, and it shot Hans to uh, over 2,700 rating and made him one of the best players in the world. Technically a super GM, a level above GM. Uh, but it was a bit weird, because although he won, what Magnus did after is withdrew from the tournament and then tweeted out this video, popular meme. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And Which led a lot of people to speculate that Magnus thought Hans was cheating. And the speculation went so far that, that other GMs like Hikaru were on stream talking about it. Insinuating that, that Hans was cheating because he's maybe even done it in the past. All right? There were running theories. This is real, by the way. That, that he was using anal beads that vibrate when he had the correct move. That's probably a good one, right? An anal bead probably would beat the thing. I, I'm serious. If the engine, I... Which, crazy. This is real, by the way. This is an insider article about it. Uh, there was even a campsite that offered him a million dollars to play chess naked to prove he didn't cheat, which is just a marketing plug. He's 19. Kind of weird, all right, to that campsite. Uh, but, but, but why all the accusations? Well, Hans will admit it here himself. Uh I had, when I was 12, I have never, ever in my life cheated in an over-the-board game, in an online tournament. They were in unrated games. And I'm admitting this, and, and, I, and I'm saying my truth because I do not want any misrepresentation. I am proud of myself that I learned from that mistake and now have given everything to chess. I have... So he admits that he cheated. He basically admits that he cheated. And any time that you say, I cheated, but not a great start to a sentence, that you have to qualify when you cheated. He says he's never cheated in over-the-board games, which is like where all the prestigious tournaments are held, and that he cheated a couple times online, specifically when he was 12 to boost his rating so he could play better people, and when he was 16 and streaming, because I think he had felt pressure to be better and make more money and make it a, a viable career, which sounds like a long time ago, like, ah, I cheated when I was 16. He's 19. So it was like, it was three years ago. I, I knew him when he was 16. In fact, he spoke different. This is like a different conspiracy theory that I even care a little bit more about. But the, I, did, I have a video on my channel of, of me playing Hans when he was 16 years old. It came out like a couple years ago. Just listen to Hans's voice then. So in chess, like you have uh, like titles. Yeah. Like Grandmaster's the highest one. Uh, International Master's the second highest one. And like to get those titles, you need to, you know, perform like at a certain level in like three different tournaments called norms. Makes sense. He also just sounds like a normal, like, uh, American kid. What happened? I had, when I was 12, I have never, ever in my life cheated in an over-the-board game. He sounds all fancy now. 
I don't know. Maybe when you get GM, you like have to put on a bit of an accent. You gotta, you gotta speak a little fancy. Uh, maybe some so social accent or something. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it. He says, "I admit to cheating. It was in the past. I'm clean now. Drama should be over, right?" Wrong. Chess.com then tweets this out. Last few days have been tumultuous in the chess community. At this time, we've reached out to Hans to explain our decision to remove him from Chess.com and our events. We shared our details with him concerning our decision, including information that contradicts his statements, a.k.a. you cheated more than you admitted to cheating, and we are mad at you for not admitting how much you cheated, and so we are now permabanning you from our website. Which begs the question, when he cheated originally, why didn't you leak it? Were you just protecting him because he was a kid? Why don't you just show us the information now? That would make a lot of things more clear, rather than everyone who's on the sidelines speculating. Makes the drama a lot hotter, though. I'll admit that. All right? And then here is an interesting tidbit. This, one's, this one, I think, is, is the, it goes to the point, did he cheat? Because that's the main question. Did he cheat? Why did Magnus withdraw? Why did uh, GMs accuse him of maybe cheating? Did he cheat? Listen to this. It's, it's not bad, yeah. It was, he just he played quite poorly, so... Uh, I didn't do anything special. Hans, just where's went, the voice well, okay, from? I think I played quite well. But uh, I was actually very fortunate uh, that this opening came on the board, and I looked at this today. You, you guessed this opening today? No, I don't guess it. You're born in San Francisco. Some miracle. I had checked this today. And it's like, it's such such a ridiculous miracle that, that I don't even remember why I checked it. I just, uh, when, when I saw... Um, now here he is saying that in the game that he beat Magnus Carlsen, again, two weeks ago, in the game that he beat Magnus, he had miraculously decided to check the opening line. Because when you're really good at chess, you sometimes prepare for certain opening lines, a.k.a. the first 20 moves of the games. I know everything that's going to happen and everything that you're going to do, and we're going to do the same thing. And then after that, we can no longer work from memory. We have to figure out the puzzle that is before us. He prepared for this one that Magnus was going to do. One key issue with that, Magnus has never, ever played that line in his life. He's never played the G3 Nimzo ever. Wait, whoa, well, wait a second. I mean, he's never played G3 and Hans is claiming that he, he Hans is claiming that he prepped it up to move 20 before. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. I don't think that outright means he's cheating by the by, but he prepared for a line that Magnus has never done that that he happened to do that day and then beat him. It's just kind of weird. Now, I saw the event. They had, like, metal detectors and shit. I don't think that that, that guy stuck anal beads in his ass to, to cheat him. I, I don't think he did that. It'd be insane if he did, honestly. Could make a TV show about that. King's Gambit. Who knows? Here's the theory. Again, all speculative. All right? That I think is the most accurate. Okay? And this comes from some random-ass commenter. And, you know, I'll trust it because I do trust random comments on Reddit, and that's how I make my investment strategies, so it's not... Uh, too much of a stretch for me to believe this. Magnus suspected there was a mole, a leaker in his inner circle, someone very close to him. Not me. I, I'm his best friend, but we don't actually do prep together. So he prepped an obscure line he had never played before, and his suspicions were confirmed when Hans fell for the trap. Hans admitted in the post-game interview that it was a miracle that he prepped for that opening the morning prior to the game. Yeah, sure. Magnus did not bolt the tournament because he lost the game. He stormed out due to his feelings of a supreme betrayal. In time, we will find out who Judas was. Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 silver coins. Okay, chess fans are kind of nerdy, all right? They're, it's like an off-breed of theater kids who have a little more vanity and think they're a little bit smarter. They're, come on, you got to give them some slack there. Anyway, that's it. That's the T. And so now, seems like for the foreseeable future, anytime Magnus plays Hans, he's just going to resign, which makes tournament standings really weird and tournament structures weird, and everything's very awkward, all right? It's, when, it's like when you go to a friend's house and their parents start fighting, but you, like, you still got to finish your plate. And it's going to be really fucking awkward every time you're there. But that's how it's going to be. And and that's it. It's all speculative as it stands. Until Chess.com releases how Hans cheated and how it contradicts what he said. Or, or Magnus reveals what he thinks. But he probably won't do that because why would he do that? I mean, he's basically retired. He withdrew from being the world champion. He, he's not going to play in that match. He's just playing for funsies. So nothing, you know, onus isn't on him. Hans can't prove that he didn't cheat if he actually didn't cheat. And if he did cheat, why would he prove that he did cheat? Might as well keep it a secret. So what's he going to do? All right, kind of feels like we're at a sand cell. Here's one option. All right, Magnus, Hans, play at the Ludwig $100,000 salty sweet money match. All right, and you both you both play with me, and, 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 and you can't cheat. And, I, and you know what? You both have to use anal beats. That way you can't use your own. 
And I'll, uh, well, no, that's just getting weird. Anyway, that's my idea. Uh, what do you guys think? Thanks for watching. A little bit of chess drama to take it away from the YouTube streaming sphere of the world. See you later. Subscribe. Goodbye. All right. This is fun. Uh, back to normal setup tomorrow. Peace.